Hello there, Scott Montgomery, the Landscape Networker, coming to you from a job that I have uh, done from concept to completion about four years ago. And uh, we're going to take a walk through the gate right here. All right, we've installed a nice Jerith, Jerith fence, aluminum fence around the whole property. As you come through here, <clears throat> you'll notice from start to finish this job was completed. We have a nice array of, of pavers, which the, the customer wanted. And you'll notice we have also introduced a nice masonry fireplace. And what's important and critical when you choose a contractor for a job like this, or any job for that matter, to get referrals, to see, to see things that have been done in the past, because I've seen it all too often. People select a contractor and they, they end up, you know, they end up cutting corners and, and having problems down the line and having to spend even thousands more dollars to fix what wasn't done right in the first time. Now I'm just going to go through a couple things here. Hope you enjoy this video as we go through just to see what is possible on your property. But <clears throat> one of the most major components of any landscape you do is drainage. And you'll notice here we're kind of pinched in an area where the house is. All right. And you have the pool decking here. And you'll notice the area where these tables are, we have installed a curtain drain, all right, because we had nowhere to get the water from point A to B. Let's say point A is over where the garbage cans are, all the way to B on the other side. So what's critical to understand here is when you are selecting a contractor, that drainage is taken into account. So what happens here? Let's get down low. You have this side, so whatever water comes off, this side comes into the drain on this side and all the way from the coping to here it's pitched to this drain which eventually leads under the walkway which goes out to the other side into an actual seepage pit which is under grade which takes care of all the roof drains so all the water in this entire area has been taken care of now another note I want you to understand and that's very critical is you'll see right here where my finger is this is a self-leveling sealant all right, it's actually like a rubber compound. What's that for? Well, in the winters, when you have freeze and thaw, if this wasn't here, what would happen? The pressure would hit against the plastic and crack and break it. All right, so when you're selecting a contractor, these are little things that you have to be aware of as a homeowner that you may not know. You may not necessarily know all this. While we're on that subject, let's get up to the coping. It's a limestone coping. All right, and you'll again, you'll see the self-leveling sealant. And again, this was done four years ago. And it's absolutely intact. There is no movement whatsoever. All right, now what would happen? What would happen if there was no self leveling seal in here? If this joint was not here? Well, essentially, these two would collide and crack and fracture all the masonry. And then essentially, what it would do is lift these pavers up. Could you imagine the expense of having to redo that again? Again, another critical component when you're selecting a contractor is to get referrals and see work that's been done four or five years ago. As we come up here, this is a nice stone masonry fireplace built from, from the ground up. Um, you can see the nice limestone cap. And here's another awesome feature that can be included are these little lights. These are landscape lights. They're actually built in the wall. And I'll see, see on the other side, you see absolutely no wire whatsoever. All right, look at how awesome this masonry is. This is real stone. Look at these joints. They're absolutely perfect. Built by a stone mason, um, and that's all they do. All right, that's all they do. The, the contractors that I use uh, for my jobs, this particular one, you'll see, built-in flue, the whole nine yards. All right, so I'm going to pan in. Imagine hanging out here. You can hang out here. We're in the fall right now. And, uh, you know, you could essentially come out here on a, on a nice fall night with a glass of wine and hang out in front of the fire and or summertime. You know, wintertime, you know, you, you, may, you may be a little crazy doing that. But, hey, who knows? Maybe that's your thing. But essentially, what I want you to understand here, too, is you could see the great difference we have. All right. You could see. They had that they, you know, when they came to me, they said, you know, Scott, I don't know how we're going to get a pool in here. It's not level. Well, how are you going to do that? Retaining walls. You can see I'm, I'm standing on the wall itself right now, and it's two tiered retaining walls. Everything was done to engi engineer standards. That's another important thing is you cannot cut corners on jobs like this. And I've seen it all too often where people sacrifice and they go with somebody who's lower in price and end up having nightmare issues four years down the line and I don't mean to sound so dramatic but you know when you're spending thousands and thousands of dollars even into the six digits like this project you want to make sure that you're covered and you're protected with somebody who 
has done jo jobs like this and who can handle jobs like this and will follow guidelines to make sure that this doesn't go wrong, to make sure that you have this for a lifetime. All right. As we come across here, you can see on the other side, we have a nice outdoor kitchen. This was all custom built. All right, if you're looking for a pool, uh, that's that's also something that we can we can arrange to have happen. It's likely you've been searching for a contractor to take care of of your masonry and or pool needs. So this is just a nice little walkthrough of a project that I've done about four years ago. You can see also inside the grill, we've actually combined some brick and the stone on the fireplace. The reason we did brick like this is to match the front of the house, which is also brick. You can see it's a Lynx built right in to a marble countertop. And let's pan around to show you what's possible. Okay. We have some nice built-in countertops out here with a refrigerator. As you can see, it's all outdoor and weatherproof. Also built a nice set of steps. All the stone matches. Stone on the fireplace. All right. With that said, if you're looking for a contractor to put a pool in or to put a patio, fireplace, outdoor kitchen, whatever the case may be, 973-476-4863. This is Scott Montgomery, and I'd love, love to set an appointment with you and see what's possible on your property. Have a great day.